What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Snowy Karama. Welcome to season three, I think, in week one. I know that one for sure. Of the NDL or the Noob Draft League. I'm on webcam. Oh man, it's been probably four, three years, something like that since I've been on webcam. So it's been a, a big while. So uh, this is what I look like. Just in case you forgot. Anyway, fighting Ty Lord in his Twin City Torteras. Honestly, a very scary team to, for my team to fight week one. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, break down the teams and kind of what I'm looking at. And then briefly go over my, um, my team, what I brought. And then we'll get into the, the match. So let's go ahead and do that. So Ty Lord's team is scary as shit. Because as you can see on his team, he has... Terrain. E-terrain. Which is very bad for my rain, honestly. It's not full rain, but it's still got, you know, Pelipper and other things. So, anyway. Scizor is also scary. We got Garchomp. Mega Garchomp has a pretty strong attack stat in like 170 or something. And its special attack is 95 which is not very bad so he could slot on fire blast or something else maybe even go full special if he wants to and he'll be okay serena is a really nice spinner it's kind of overpriced here but i mean it is what it is umbreon's very tanky very annoying pokemon to miss magius and braviary are his two z captains very strong supersonic sky strikes coming off of the braviary and miss magius can probably do z some move and be okay and then we got little turtwig chilling down there so that's his team and i'm very scared of the uh maybe not the iron moth i think i had brought something for that yeah um but the garchomp's very scary the bundle is gonna be tough i have to pretty much hope that it misses all of the hydro pumps in order for my team to be okay so let's go ahead and look into what i brought for him Starting off with Rabombi with the sticky webs because I need his super fast booster guys to go super slow. We have the speed for the Iron Moth and the rest of it in special attack and HP and just, you know, basic moves. We got U turn so that we can chip some things and, um, you know, get on out of there. Alluring Voice is very nice into the Umbreon. So we have, not the Umbreon, there's something I wanted to hit with that. Probably Garchomp. So we have something to hit with that in case it wants to come on in. We have the Sash so we can guarantee get up their webs turn one. I'm pretty sure this is what I'm leading with, if I remember correctly. And we have Terrapagos. We have Rock Polish. I want to say that Rock Polish on this thing makes it faster than just regular Bundle uh, at plus two. And we have Star Terra Star Storm for our stab move. It's also very strong base 120 attack, so pretty good. And then Dark Pulse to hit the Miss Magius, which is the only thing on the team that really resists the um, Star Storm, aside from the Scizor, and that's why we have the Flamethrower. We wanted Modest so that this thing could be just as strong as possible, and Lefties to get some recovery, of course. Heatran is our guy for the Iron Moth. We have the Shooka Berry because there is a Mega Garchomp on the field, and we also need the, the ma max defense stat. We have, this is our rocker for the team, Lava Plume and Earth Power, our nice dual stab into the Scizor, and Iron Bundle I think takes quite a bit from Lava Plume, I don't really remember though. Then Toxic, so that we can just whittle down some dudes. Urshifu is here, Scarfed Urshifu, I want to say that this also, does this creep Bundle, or does this creep Iron Moth, I don't remember. Looks like this creeps Bundle without the booster. So that we can have our adamant max attack here and then the rest in special offense. Dual stab is pretty dang good into his team. The only thing that uh, can resist that is the Tapu Koko. And that's why we have the poison jab and new turn so that we can just be aggressive with our uh, switches and such. Electivire is here with the Earthquake, Ice Punch, Thunder for some nice little chipperoos and then knock off. We have the E-Belt because it's pretty... Uh, pretty good to hit things for super effective damage we have it especially for earthquakes with coco motor drive will be nice if he hits us with an electric move on the switch so that we can go ahead and uh 
get that speed boosted. Ice Punch is nice another guard chomp. I want to say this... Does this creep the... This has to creep the bundle unboosted. It looks like it creeps... Maybe boosted moth? No, it doesn't creep boosted moth. It creeps something. I don't know. I don't really remember what exactly. Oh, no, 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 no. This is one point faster than Mega Garchomp if it's Jolly. That's what it is. And Thunder, what did I have Thunder for? Um, Iron Bundle's special defense is, like, piss poor. So I wanted to have Thunder for it because that synergizes nicely with the last member. Or it would if I remembered to put on Drizzle! <laughs> We have Keen Eye, Choice Scarf Pelipper, with enough speed to outspeed the Iron Moth if it's unboosted, and then the rest in defenses. So let's go and get into the team. Or not the team, the battle. I want to give a quick shout out to two people in particular before we go ahead and head into the battle. Firstly is Matthew Drafts. If you haven't watched his content, you really should consider it. He's a crazy old man who talks about crazy old man things. He has a very interesting twist on Draft League, and I I enjoy it quite a bit. You might not, but I enjoy it. So there's that. I know, very great endorsement. And also shout out to Superbench45, specifically for this. He's letting me use his streams for my NDL matches. <laughs> Another reason that I shouted out Matthew Drafts is because he uses what he calls the Tower of Matthews, where this top, uh, what is it, the top, the top window is him in the postcom, and his bottom window, where Superbench is right now, is his uh, live reaction just in case he has some interjections for the uh, the game so that's what i'm doing here with the bench i thought it'd be funny it's also kind of stupid <laughs> anyway take it away bench and i want to make sure yeah okay so here's snowy's game yeah here's snowy's game I remember snowy being in stream and not watching his games so that's why uh, i just skipped over him completely Tapu Koko, Iron Bundle, Garchomp. Iron yeah, this Box, team, Zora, this team is very, very scary for sure. Uh, he brought all of his terrain guys plus his Mega Chomp. Scizor is a very nice cleaner because it's just a goddamn bullet puncher with that Swords Dance, and then Umbreon. Scizor also gets Defog, which my experience with Ty Lord, he doesn't really bring hazards or removal unless he can afford to which I kind of just assumed, I guess, that uh, he wouldn't. Excuse me for my water drinking break. But you'll see later that he uh, he does, spoiler alert. And uh, I don't know, man. Very scary. Bombi, Terrapagos, Heatran. Is that how you say that? Ter Terrapagos? I say Terrapagos. I say Terrapagos. It's probably Terrapagos. I don't know, man. I'm just here. I am just here. Bundle lead 100%. I don't think he led Bundle here. I think he led Scizor. I read Rabombi, led Rabombi though, as I said earlier. Oh. Oh, he oh did lead gosh. Bumble. Never Bundle. Never mind. I guess he got it. So he flip turns out here. Obviously, that we see. Flip turns out. I immediately go for the webs. I'm sure. Punch, I guess, right? Yep. Speed there it is. Because I want his shit to be slow as possible. I U turn out punch. myself for this guy. I don't remember why. Probably just to get off the flamethrower. Maybe even to get off the. Um, it's got a name. The defog Caesar. Maybe to even get off the rock polish but yeah this is what i was talking about i mean obviously this thing gets defog but i didn't think he'd bring it because he did not really know him to, to bring hazard removal or any side of sort of interactions like that he likes just hitting things right in the face getting right down to it so i was not expecting that oh uh, yep polish. i just get off the rock polish so i can be faster than a lot of things but what i did not know going into this match because i built this team during a busy day of work when I could, just barely paying attention to what he really had and just kind of making sets, I did not realize that the Terrapagos set that I built 
is absolutely walled by his Umbreon. Absolutely walled. This thing is a spadef tank. I think my Starstorm at the most it does like 23% or something. It's not good. It's straight up not good. So when I found that out, uh, <laughs> it made this batch a lot harder. I have Heatran That's coming right. in because I want to get a Toxic Heatran off on this thing. Butthole? That's crazy. And and then he starts with that. He starts with that. Benches starts with the butthole talk about the stupid Heatran. We're out here trying to make content, trying to make a good-ass video, and he's out here talking about buttholes. Anyway, I go Electivire. I don't go Electivire here. He roared me out. And I want to say that's okay. I'm trying to remember what I had. Yeah, I'm probably going to knock this thing off. Yeah. Knock off. He doesn't need leftovers. We don't want this thing gaining any uh, HP or anything. Toxic. Yeah. Toxic. I mean, okay. it's a good attack <laughs> for him. Dude, you gotta look at the back Urshifu of is here. Like Stop talking about Heatran's butthole, bench. Stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Baton passes, which is very, just, pretty good. And then Coco is here. Oh, we're gonna see this nice little poison jab come off of the Urshifu. I don't think this kills. I think he's bulky or something. No other mons have butthole. They don't put buttholes on Pokemon. And then uh, Poison Jab takes it down to 18. Pretty good damage. He just presses U-turn, so I have an Urshifu that's still Poison around to, uh, you know, click a button. I haven't looked at I'm going to switch out of here, obviously, out into the Pelipper. And I think at this point, at this point is when I found out that I fucked up and I did not have the rain, da uh, the drizzle. Because I was planning on maybe clicking Weather Ball on this Garchomp. Uh, maybe he wouldn't expect the Scarf Pelipper, even though I got it from Tylord. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> That's what I do. I fucked up. Uh, Scizor comes on in. I'm probably repressing a U-turn. Yeah, get some momentum. Pretty U-turns out. Heatran is out here. We are going to press the plume See, button probably or point. pressing rocks, either one. Embryon comes in. Did I toxic? So no, I've just, just pressed the stealth rock. I mean, if he no, did press know. toxic, or if I did press toxic and Scizor stayed in for whatever reason, which looking back, he, he wouldn't, right? Um, then it would have been a waste of a turn. He might have swords danced or something. I don't know. But Umbreon's here. I press oh, toxic. toxic. I fucking miss, because of course I do. Roars oh, me so. out. What did he roar me out into? Urshifu! Big ol' issue. Because I could press close combat here. Honestly, uh, if he wants to go... Co Coco's at 18, so he'll die. Scizor probably won't die to ACC. Uh, Garchomp is still just regular Garchomp. I don't think he... Yeah, he didn't Mega yet. We'd see the sprite difference. And then Moth would be able to take a CC pretty decently because of uh, fighting resist poison, unless I'm mistaken. I might be mistaken. I don't know. Let's me let's check to make sure that I'm recording. I am perfect. Or she who's coming. That'd be embarrassing. Has a hole in its tail. Iron Moth comes in. We see a yes, CC maybe. Do we do, level, and a, a crit. Hit. I do not know if that mattered. It might have mattered. I mean, we didn't see a booster, so he might have been the specs or something. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, that thing is dead a ruse. We see Scizor coming on in. It's probably going to be able to take a close yeah, combat decently. I would go up to Heatran, it seems. I mean, also, uh, I was minus one defense, so a U-turn is not... Is, it's it's going to hurt. A U-turn will definitely hurt here. He just CCs okay. me, which is very fair. Because, you know, this thing is also, the Urshifu is also weak to that. And definitely would have killed if I thought that a U-turn was going to kill. But Heatran survived that because we are max Doesn't do defense. Doesn't do as much as I thought it would. Yep, because we're max I'll defense. Be yep. I think you hit a fire move. We go out to Pelipper, probably expecting another CC, also I'm assuming. Also. Yep, another CC. Yeah, man, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Oh God, no, I forgot. <laughs> Uh, bundle is here. Do we just press U-turn? I pressed Hurricane, almost killing the bundle. You know how huge that would be if I had gotten the KO. I mean, I'm happy that a non-rain Hurricane hit, right? But that would have been so big. 
if that stupid penguin would have died. I'm saying that it's not a turtle. So freeze dry, yep. Freeze dry. So that's going to kill me. That, uh, it's going to kill me. Makes sense. That's fine. It uh, Terrapagos is out here. Even if he goes Umbreon, um, a Star Storm would still at least do some chip, and there's no more, what's it called? Leftovers, so he wouldn't be getting the recovery just yet. I mean, he might have Moonlight. Who knows? Or it's Wish. Totally breathe out of their bottles. Is what I was saying. Could you stop it? Could you stop it with the butthole talk, Super Bench? Could you stop? <laughs> God. But then I got he flips out the, on me. The we see the Umbreon just like I figured. Do I go Urshifu here? Now nah, I press the, the, the rock, rock polish, polish, I guess. I don't think that was the play. There is no reason to do that because he had a Umbreon up. I mean, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. So now I can say, oh, that was dumb, but you know, whatever. Don't get roared out. Oh, you forgot. Heatran comes in, and we see a toxic. I knew that was going to come because uh, a toxic Terrapagos would not be good for a victory. We see Lava Plume probably just to do some damage. Maybe I thought that he would switch and not want this thing to get um, what's it called? Poisoned. Plume is based on health, right? That sucks. Do I toxic here? I do. Oh, toxic the umbrella. And you know, synchronize is not gonna Can't do anything it. to him. Or it's not gonna do anything to me, rather, because I'm a steel type. Roared out. So Roar hits Rabombi. We'll probably try to set I mean, up the webs again. Bad, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, I'm for sure. Kidding. I have a luring voice on this guy. I don't even remember why. I don't remember what Alluring Voice does. I think it confuses or something. <laughs> it also hits through sub, in case he wanted a sub. Just so yeah, there's the, the webs. Okay. There's no reason to not webs, in my opinion. Into Caesar. So this Caesar, I banked off of Tyler not bringing any hazard control, because like I said before, he doesn't do that. So this was just a predicament. Gonna defog... I don't know if it has bullet punch, man. I don't know if it does. Oh, it, 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 it might. I guess you got it. Evire is here because I want to be able to... I think I found out that Thunder does a good amount to Scizor. Unless I... Earthquake or something. I don't know. I don't remember. This game was a bit ago. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the switch out, of course, was going to happen because so, Rabambi would have just died if it didn't. I just click knock. It looks like he still looks like he still had his item, which is fine. Get CC'd, and it's fine because you know whatever. I don't think I clicked Thunder once that once that match, which is very unfortunate. Which one is it? That'd have been nice. That'd have been cool. Terrapagos is here. We have the flamethrower. He's probably just going to go out to the Umbreon. Maybe I switch on that. Maybe I spin. I don't think I had spin on this, though. Yeah. No, I don't think I did. I just, you know, flamethrower. Maybe he's going to stay in a bullet punch. Maybe he's going to stay in close combat. Who knows? Because, um, actually, I think I am outspeeding max speed Scizor with this Terrapagos. So, whatever. Scizor's. At this at this point, I knew I was probably not going to win, so I'm I'm just I'm Did just switching around and yeah. doing what I can. Skizor, <laughs> that would be crazy. He roars me right, out so here. Rocks now, right? We see the Terrapagos back in. I think I might just this Star Storm, storm here, just right? That's just crazy. something that I do. Yeah, the just trying to see. Storm. Maybe we get a crit. Who knows? Also, it's toxic, so I think it might just Caesar. die here. <laughs> I cut paper with seeds. Yep, there we go. Urshifu is here, and I think it can take uh, care of pretty much like anything that is great. out. We see that it's boots here. I probably click... Uh, do I click the blow? I don't remember if that kills uh, Terrapagos. It probably should, right? You know, it's boots. Everybody. Yep, wicked blow. Wicked we blow. see that crit. We're just okay. killing guys. It's pretty dope. Scizor is back Scizor. out here. I think he might bullet punch or something. I probably what just click the blow here. You just did. about yeah. killed him. I think Ty Lord told me later that that thing is max defense. But either way, getting chip on the Scizor is a good thing to have. A bullet or a bullet punch at this point, right? Because if I didn't do that, right, he would have probably SD'd or just I don't know. 
nothing none of my guys want to switch in we will close combat so urshifu had to go down and yeah try to take the scissor with him unfortunate death but it's coming down to the wire here for yeah sure. maybe the better play would have been to switch into the the heatran since heatran was here pretty much for the moth and then switched back into urshifu That wouldn't have made any sense, though. Nah, I think I did what I had to. Trap goes to see here. We're just going to click that flamethrower, because I don't think anything wants to really switch into it, besides the maybe Garchomp. Rock Paper is a good nickname. Yep, you just Star Storm here. I didn't want to risk something coming in on a flamethrower, so I just, you know. one it is, to be fair. Now, I think Bundle comes out here and does Bundle things. I think he just brought Boots. On all of his dudes. Boots? Yeah, he just brought boots on all no, of his what? dudes. No. Just in case. So Hydro Pump. It's... Hydro Pump gets me. I was hoping that he would just not hit me. Because it's Iron Bundle. I see. Electric switch. Yeah. So Urbambi comes in and just and dies. Heatran. And is then Heatran. it is Heatran versus the world, ladies and gentlemen. If I can live through this Hydro Pump... And then Garchomp refuses to listen to Tylord's commands. I got it. Let's see what happens, folks. Let's see what happens. Heatran comes in. We're at six percent, and it doesn't even need to press Hydro Pump because he can just flip turn. So, Tylord, wherever you are. Yep, that is the game against Tylord. Um, I think for building a team with a busy day. I think I did pretty decently. I mean, uh, if I had the, the what's it called, the drizzle, things would have been a much better, but that would have also opened up Iron Bundle. So I could have just said, oh, I didn't run drizzle because Iron Bundle is crazy. But uh, nah, man, I've just <laughs> straight up forgot. Uh, I'd make, uh, Tylord's not in the stream. So what Bench likes to do is for people that uh, he watched the, you know, the match for, he uh, he does food reviews. So I'm going to try to pull that up here for us. <laughs> Snowy, let me know what I can consume. All right, here it is, I think. Let's see. Jack Link's Doritos Taco Yep, flavor Dorito jerky. Taco Flavor Jerky. That's what he's got for us. Land as I love, stand beside her. And, and now he's her. now he's singing us a song. Oh, my, my stream just paused there. China was trying to stop me from saying that, I think. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Dude. One thing I will say about um it's it sort of a spoiler to this a bit, but um Holy crap, the Doritos the, the chip flavored jerky oh is just not is good. Horrible. I had what was it? What was it? Uh, sweet and spicy chili jerky, which is my favorite, favorite Dorito. And it was just nasty. Instant it was pain. awful. Roche. We need to skip Dorito. forward to him eating the damn thing. Taco flavor. Here we go. This is what we came to see. It, it's filling my mouth with the stink as I'm trying to eat it. <laughs> oh, so man. Dry. I am not. I would not apologizing to you, Bench. You asked what I wanted, and I told you what I wanted. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Thanks so much for coming out and watching NDL Week One. Look forward to other videos just like this as I'm covering my entire run for the season. Like this video if you have not already. Subscribe only if you want to. We are 117 strong as of this recording, and I think each and every one of you hit that bell so you know what it is that I'm uploading, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye <laughs>